shall not pass. It was funny to me. I thought it would be funny. No? Nobody? Yes. Um, I'm so sorry about that. Oh, okay. Okay, so what it is, y'all? It's your boy Blasphemous HD. And you guys have wanted more stories about the situation, y'all. And I have them about this one particular dude, about this Rashad Banks dude, bro. There's legit like five to ten stories I have about this guy. Most of them are before he robbed my house, like stuff we've gotten ourselves into before he robbed my house when we were still friends. One of the biggest one you guys are asking about, how my brother KT almost got murdered that night, all right? So, I'm gonna tell you all this story, right? But the thing that I ask is that you subscribe to my, uh, my brother's channel. The link is gonna be in the description down below. Matter of fact, I'm gonna have him tell like probably some details that I might not remember since it didn't happen to me. You know, like I only remember exactly what he told me when he kicked my fucking door down and he burst into my fucking room and he was fucked up and covered in blood and dirt and shit. So, you know, he knows all the the things that, you know, the the, the crevices of the stuff that he didn't get to tell me, but I know a lot of it, and the story is fucked. Like, I've never had something like this happen to me, what happened to him, and it's honestly probably one of the most fucked up stories I've got. So, um, uh, so yeah, link will be in the description down below, leading to my brother's channel. Make sure to go check him out, subscribe to him. He makes videos like the same ones I put on this channel. Also, before I start with the story, make sure to like this bitch the fuck up. Because the more likes I get, man, the more love I get on this vid, then the more fucking motivated I am to keep coming back and telling y'all stories on stories on stories on stories. Because I have a fuck ton of stories. And a good amount of them are pretty fucked up. <laughs> but, um, you know what I mean? If, my, if these vids are, you know, getting mad love like that, then shit, I'll just start, like, telling y'all, you know, a story or two a week. You know? Because I've got, I've got a fuck ton of stories of dumb shit I've got myself into. Okay, if you guys have not seen the video of my house getting robbed, then you won't understand the premise of this. So the link will be in the description down below leading to that video. Go watch that first. It is an hour long, but it is well fucking worth it. And when you see how long that video is, you understand why I didn't include this story in that too. Well, fast forward to maybe about a month before my house got robbed. Uh, my brother KT, he brought over this uh, short little Puerto Rican chick, right? She was cute. She was cool. You know, but something was fucking off about this chick, man. Something was fucking off. Like, and I couldn't even put my fucking finger on it, man. I don't, there's, I don't even have a word for it. She seemed too stupid. Like, like easily malleable. You know what I mean? Like, you could get this chick to do whatever the fuck you, she want, you wanted her to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, go sell these drugs. And she would do it. Like, she was stupid, right? And, and just no backbone. Right? And I didn't like that combination about her. So my brother brings her over and I ask him about her, like when she's like in the kitchen making food. I'm like, yo, like what's what's up with this chick? And he's like, oh no, this is this girl I'm talking to, it's a little shorty I'm talking to and shit. You know, she's real cool, she cooks for me, she does whatever I ask her to do, she's real cool. And I'm just like, where? Mm. So while my brother was in the back room, I go to have a talk with her, right? And I'm real good conversating with people. I just drum up some conversation, right? We laughing, we joking, we bullshitting. And I forgot what she told me that confirmed my suspicions on her not being someone you want to hang out with. But I'm going to make him tell that part on his channel. And I will have that in the description down below. I'm gonna make sure he tells that part in his story. Cause I can't remember what the fuck I found out about this chick through conversating with her that made me be, uh, tell my brother, hey man, do not, whatever, do not fuck with this chick. Cut this chick fucking loose, right? I think it was the fact that she disclosed to me, yes! She told me that she not only was abused as a child, but like, she was abused by her boyfriends but she would stay with the motherfuckers, right? So I'm like, this bitch is crazy. 
This bitch is stupid and she's fucking crazy. Don't fuck with this chick, Christian. Do not fucking kick it with this chick. Now, as we all know, we ain't gonna listen to someone else when they tell us, hey man, stop sticking your dick in this chick. I've done that shit numerous times. Kicked it with chicks and fuck with chicks that I knew were bad fucking news. Even though people warned me about them, right? It's all about experience. You gotta go through the shit. Unfortunately, this is one of the situations I wish we didn't get any experience on. So that night was the only, my first time meeting her and it was the only night I ever met her, right? Fast forward a month into the future, house got robbed. You know, if you haven't heard that story, the link's in the description down below. And you know, um, my, I called up my homeboy, Zach Corper. Uh, he, his name is Thrash370, he's like a famous fucking poker player, online poker player, he's like one of the best uh, uh, online uh, single table sit and go players in the fucking world. He's who trained me to play poker by the way, which is why I'm so fucking good. Big ups to Zach Corper, um, go search him up, I'm pretty sure he streams poker on uh, Twitch now. So, um, Zach Corper comes, he picks me up in his fucking convertible and shit, and he drives me home, right? So we get to my house, man, you know, I got done talking to the police who I've already fucking described how shitty they fucking were about the situation. After talking with the fucking police, I tell my brother KT, I'm like, yo, you know what I mean? Well, they're not going to come back. It's not really a big deal. But my brother, he thinks a lot, you know, and he's just like, yo, they're going to come back. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what to do. And I'm just like, mom, they're not going to come back. Don't even worry about it, man. You know, it's cool. Just sleep at the crib. He's like, no, 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 man. I can't, I can't stay here tonight. I, I don't feel safe. I can't stay here tonight. I don't feel safe. I'm like, well, that's understandable. Where are you going to go? He's like, oh, I'm going to go over to this chick's house that I've been kicking it with, right? Now, I didn't think to ask him who the fucking chick was, okay? And even if I had asked him, I wouldn't have thought in a million years that something like this would happen. So, my homeboy, Zach Corporal, who was still there, you know, my brother Christian asked him for a ride. And Zach, my homie Zach, he's like, yeah, no problem at all, bro. I'll drop you off wherever you want to go. Because given the situation, he felt real bad. He's like, bro, I'll drop you off wherever you want to go. Uh, my homeboy, Zach Corporal, he drops him off at the... Uh, at that girl's house, the crazy, crazy fucking Puerto Rican chick's house, right? Like I said, the next morning, my f my fucking room door gets kicked off its fucking hinges, and I look up in just complete fucking shock and surprise to see KT standing there, and his knees, his legs are covered in fucking blood. His own blood. He's bleeding through his knees. He's covered in fucking dirt. And he's fucking crying his eyes out. He just starts fucking just punching holes in the fucking walls by screaming, Oh, I'm going to fucking kill him. I'm going to fucking kill him. And I'm freaking out, yo. I've never seen, even to this day, KT, such an emotional wreck. I've never, ever, ever seen him in that state before. So it freaks me the fuck out. So it took me about a good five, ten minutes to calm him down. You know, I'm like hugging him and shit. I'm like, yeah, dude, what's, yo, hey, it's cool, it's cool, man, it's cool. Like, he's obviously gone through something so traumatic as to where it's like, he might not even see me hugging him. Like, he's, like, he's fucking damn near slobbering. <laughs> like, he's, he's really fucking freaking out. And I'm just like, what, well, what's, what's going on, man? Like, what the fuck is going on? So, he finally calms down like 10, 15 minutes later, man, and... You know, he still got tears running down, bro, and he tells me what happened. So, apparently what happened was, he went over this female's house. And again, I only really remember, like, 95% accuracy. Because, again, you know, he told me everything that happened. Uh, and, of course, like, there's going to be some parts that, you know, a few parts that he's left out, which... You know, he'll only know, like only he'll know, but he'll have that on his channel, you know? So he goes over to the girl's house and he's in there and he's kicking it with her. And while they're in there, you know, while they're in there, you know, hanging out and shit, you know, inside of her room, he hears something. So he goes to fucking check it out and lo and behold, there's this, I don't remember, I think it was light-skinned, this light-skinned fucking Ice JJ fish looking motherfucker climbing through the goddamn window, right? So my brother's like, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck, are, what the fuck is going on? And he's like, what the fuck are you talking about, nigga? Like, it's my girl's house, nigga, what the fuck? You know, so then the girl runs in, no, 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 no
we're just friends. You know, they was fucking, come on, son. You know, we're just friends. No, we're gonna call the guy Marvin. I don't know his name. Marvin, no, no, it's not what it looks like. And Marvin's like, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? You got this nigga over my fucking house? What the fuck are you doing? Now, she had a kid with this guy, right? And apparently he's one of those psycho stalker crazy type of ex types dudes. So she's like, what the, he's like, what the fuck are you doing having this nigga in my house? Yo, like what the fuck is wrong with you? And she's like, look, we've been broken up for three years. You know, I said you could come over and you see your daughter, but climbing through windows, we've already discussed this, this is cool. So they all go into the kitchen and they're talking. The guy, he's still talking shit. And he tells my brother KT, he's like, look, 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 dude, I ain't got no beef with you, bro. I ain't got no beef with you. Okay, but I got to talk with my girl alone, all right? So I'm going to need you to go ahead and roll out. I don't want you here when I talk to her. I need to talk to her alone. My brother KT, he, he can tell, like, if he leaves, like, this dude is going to beat the living fuck out of this chick. He's going to beat her, right? Now, with that being said, I'm more than likely sure that this girl has told KT about a former guy that used to beat the living shit out of her, right? And now that we all think about it, that's exactly what the fuck she told me in my kitchen at my old apartment when I told my brother not to fuck with her no more because she's fucking stupid. This bitch is stupid. And you're going to see why. What makes her so fucking stupid? It's so frustrating to think about it because, you know, of course I love my brother. It's it's just really, really frustrating to think about. Okay, so my brother's like, you know, my brother KT, man, you know, he's trained some MMA and shit. Like, he's a real big dude. He's like, I ain't going nowhere, bro. I ain't going nowhere. Because he already knows that the guy's going to beat her ass because she's told him that, you know, a guy she used to date, him, beats her ass. He used to beat her ass a lot. So my brother KT's like, I ain't going nowhere, yo. Like, if y'all got to talk, you know, you can go ahead and talk. I ain't tripping. You know, so the dude's like, come on, man. Like, look, dude. I, like I said, man, look, big man, okay? I ain't got nothing but respect for you, yo. I got nothing but respect for you, man. You know, I, I, I think you're a real cool guy, but I really need you to leave because I really got to talk to her alone. And my brother, you know, he's headstrong. He's like, look, I ain't going nowhere, man. I ain't going nowhere. The dude's like, look, you know what? I'll be right back, man. I got to go to the bathroom, right? So, he goes to the bathroom, comes back, you know, and he asks my brother again. He's like, look, dude, look, man, I, I need you to just go. Can you leave? Just leave. And my brother's like, look, dude, I ain't going nowhere, man, because I don't know what's going on. And in the midst of him talking, dude pulls a fucking pistol out the back of his fucking ass and points it at my fucking brother's head and starts talking shit as any one would do when they fucking got a gun now. What now, big man? Huh? You thought you was all big and buff and shit, nigga. What the fuck now, huh? What the fuck you gonna do now, nigga? What the fuck's up now? And you wish you just fucking left when I gave you the fucking chance, yo. But you wanna fucking stay, nigga? You wanna talk all that fucking shit? Do something. I'll blow your fucking head off. So, I mean, what the fuck could my fucking brother do? Like, what the fuck can you do? So he's like, get in the fucking back room, man. Get in the fucking back room. He fucking orders him into the back room with the fucking pistol. So while they're walking through the hallways, this dude has obviously been there before. He set up fucking camp. And the chick hadn't fucking told my brother that. He, she did not tell him that this motherfucker was steady coming through. Because the dude, he fucking opens up one of the hallway cabinets, the tall ones. And pulls out a fucking AK-47. What the fuck? We hear about ride or die chicks, right? Well, some of the ride or die chicks are just fucking idiots. And this was one of them. Like, it's cool to ride for a dude and care about him. But to let this nigga stash yo, his guns and his drugs in a house that your daughter is in? Really? So. So the guy's got the guns. And he's marching my brother and this girl. Into the back room, yo. Now, this is the part of the story, man. If you're screamish or anything, I really suggest you leave. Like, this shit is really, really, really bad. And it's really fucking graphic. The guy, he orders my brother to sit up against the wall and orders the girl to go sit on the fucking bed. The dude, then, while pointing the fucking AK-47 at my brother, right? So, let's say... 
the, my brother's right there on this wall, the girl's sitting on the bed, and the guy's like close to the girl. Now the whole time he's next to the girl, he points his AK-47 at my brother, right? And he tells him, you fucking move. I'm blowing your fucking ass off, dude. I put so many fucking holes in you, bro. Do not fucking move. And holds the AK-47 on him. And this is the sad part, right? Like I said, if you guys are scrimmish, you might want to leave the room. It's, it's pretty fucked. So then, with the pistol and the chick sitting next to him, he then begins to beat the fuck out of the girl with the pistol. Pistol whips the dog shit out of her. I mean, I would not wish this on an animal, a, a, a rabid animal, how bad he's beating the shit out of her. And my brother, what the fuck must that do to somebody to see that? Like, I've never seen something like that. I've never seen something like that. I've heard about it happening to some of my other family members when they've gotten into situations being pistol whipped, but I've never seen, like to see a girl that you hold some sort of romantic interest in or you care about her, to see her being beaten damn near to death with the butt of a fucking pistol. So my brother, he figures, okay, well, you know, I, I gotta fucking do something. So he, he starts trying to fucking inch to stand up. And then he starts inching towards the guy. Because the guy is getting really into it. So he's not really paying attention to my brother. So he's beating the shit out of the fucking girl. He's got his fucking AK-47. And he's not really paying attention to the to, to my fucking brother. My brother gets up. And he starts inching towards him. And I guess the guy can see, you know, kind of notices the movement out of his peripheral vision. And he looks over. I said, sit the fuck down. Sit the fuck down. I will kill you, man. Sit the fuck down. You know, and of course my brother's like, hey, 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 you, hey, you, you got it. You fucking got it, yo. I just, hey, he sits back down. And again, the guy continues to beat the living fuck out of this female. Now, there's a few things I'm leaving out. If you guys want to see those parts or you want to hear those parts from my brother himself, link will be in the description down below because there's some parts that I'm a little bit iffy on. I'm not at least 95% sure. You know, so I don't want to say some shit that might not have actually fucking happened. So, he just continues to beat the living fuck out of this chick for like fucking a minute and a half. It's a long fucking time. And she's screaming bloody fucking murder, man. She's just, and she is bleeding. She's, she's like, 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 dude. So, at one point, after the minute and a half is up, I guess, the guy's like, hey, man, I'll be right fucking back. Nobody fucking move, yo. Don't you fucking move. He goes out into the fucking living room to smoke a cigarette, right? And the girl, she's just a sobbing, blubbering, and bloody fucking mess. And he's just like, you know what I mean? She's she's freaking the fuck out. And she's just crying and 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 just, you know, into her hands. And my brother is like, he inches over to her. He's like, yo, yo, like, hey, okay, look, he's going to come back. And when he comes back, I'm going to fucking tackle him. Okay. And I need you to run and call the police. Get help. <sighs> and this is the part in the story where even though to, I, I, and I, there's some names I want to use for this female for putting my brother in this. But, you know, I feel it would be insensitive given the situation she was in. I don't know what other circumstances that, like how her mind was working, what was going on, but I, I, it, it, it infuriated me. It infuriated me to hear her answer. And her answer was this. Through the tears and the snot and the blood, she's choking back all the fucking, all the shit that's going on. She's just like, no, no, no. Just do what he says. He won't, he's not gonna kill us. He's not gonna kill us? He's not gonna, are you serious, bitch? Word? He's not gonna kill us? He's got an AK-47 pointed at me and, 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 and he's beating the life out of you with the butt of a gun. Look at your face, bitch. And he's not gonna kill us? How many times has this nigga pistol whipped you? Like, I, and he didn't, I don't know if he said that or not. Like, I, 
You know, I'd have to have him, like, disclose if he did. But I, that's the shit I saw me tell this nigga beating you before. And with what weapons? I swear this is just regular for you. Word? Like, my brother and my brother's like, no, what are you talking about? Well, no, when he comes back, okay, I'm going to tackle him. You need to go get help. And she's just like, no, no, no. He's not gonna kill us, it's okay. It's fine, it's fine, okay? Just, okay, just don't, you know, don't, just don't anger him, it's okay. I mean, from what my brother told me, he probably won't want me to tell y'all this, but, but he said, when she said that, he was like, man, fuck this bitch. <laughs> She's, she's gone. Like, there's no, there's no help in this chick. Like, I gotta save me. Like, I can't save this. This chick is unsavable. He would tackle the guy, beat his ass, and grab the girl's hand and drag her out. Like, come on, bitch, let's go. She'd be like, no, what are you doing? He's hurt. Go over and start helping this nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no saving this chick. She's lost in the sauce, bruh. She's lost in it. She's drowning. There's no saving this chick. You throw, you throw out a fucking one of them life circle donut things, a lifesaver, nigga. She tossed that shit back. I don't like red. Oh, oh, and keep drowning. I'm like, bruh. So my brother's just like, I gotta save me, man. There's no saving this chick. I, she, she must love this or something. She in love with this dude or something. I don't know. There's something up. But I gotta get the fuck out of Dodge. So. The guy comes back from a smoke break and again puts the AK-47 on my brother, points it at him, right? And says, don't fuck, don't you fucking move, man. Don't fucking move. I will kill you, right? And with the butt of the other fucking gun, continues again to beat the fucking shit out of the fucking chick. Just beat the dog shit out of her. But while he's beating her, his, his other arm is starting to slip like he's... So compassionate with beating this fucking chick. I talked about this in the last video. Like, the human brain tends to have, uh, tends to pick up on danger on a subconscious level, right? To the point where your brain will know, like, bro, you're, you're about to die. Like, okay, so there was, there's, there's a story, right? Now, cliff note version, real quick. There's a story of this girl, some crazy son of a bitch, followed her home, kicked down her door, took her into the back room, raped, raped her. Sad fucking story, right? But after the guy gets done raping her, he gets up and he closes the window, right? The bedroom window. And he's like, look, I'm not gonna hurt you, okay? I'm not gonna hurt you, I'll be right back. Closes the fucking, the bedroom window, right? And the girl couldn't figure out why, but she knew he was going to come back and fucking murder her. She didn't know why she knew, but subconsciously, like her fucking brain, probably thinking on the highest level possible, was like, why the fuck would he close the window now? He just got done raping me. Why the fuck would he close the window? Why would he shut it? She like walked behind him, like in a Bugs Bunny cartoon, like walked behind him while he was walking out. And weirdly enough, he didn't see her. When she made a turn, when he made a turn, she bolted for the door and got the fuck out. It turns out that he was gonna kill her. He had killed like two or three other women. He was going to fucking murder her. So I can only imagine my brother was thinking on that level, like, you know, he's probably just gonna fucking murder me. Like, he's gonna fucking kill me. So when the gun slipped and he was still pistol whipping the chick, when, when his arm went all the way down, my brother just made a fucking bolt for it with everything he was fucking worth, yo. Just made a beeline for the fucking front door. And my brother told me he's never felt fear like he did in that situation because the dude freaked the fuck out when my brother ran. What the fuck? lets off a fucking round and starts chasing him fucking through the hallway because you know like these whack-ass apartments are the rooms are small but the hallways be long as fuck so chasing him down the fucking hallway lets off another fucking round behind him my brother said he didn't look back he's freaking the fuck out he said his only fucking hope was that the door was unlocked like he's never felt fucking fear like that he's just like the door if the door is not unlocked i'm dead i'm just dead so he 
gets to the fucking door, smashes it open, it's unlocked. Fucking, now, they were on the second floor, and if you've ever seen those stairs that look like they're concrete, but they have the pebbles and rocks embedded in them, my brother tries to run down the fucking stairs, and slips and slides and fucking smashes his knees and legs the fuck up falling down those fucking stairs, gets up, right? Like, his, his legs are fucked. I don't know how he was able to fucking walk. His legs are fucked, bleeding profusely. He gets up running fucking top fucking speed into the goddamn distance. Niggas yelling behind him, get the fuck back here! I said, I'm gonna fucking kill you! My brother runs, runs, runs until he sees this Mexican dude. I love how he legit remembered the race of the guy. He sees this Mexican dude talking on the phone and he just snatches his fucking phone. I need it really bad, I'm so sorry. And hangs up on the guy he's talking to and dials 911. And while he's doing this, he notices that he hears a fucking engine rev up where the fucking apartment with the guy just fucking came from with the gun. So my brother freaks the fuck out and he, he's like close to a fucking big ass trash can. He leans up against the fucking thing and he's talking to 911. And 911, yes, uh, there's a guy with a gun, blah, 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 blah. And he's like hiding and he can hear the guy. The guy had a motorcycle, right? Fucking motorcycle. Guys, like driving up real slow to try to find him. My brother's trying to edge around the fucking side of the goddamn dumpster so that he won't see him. Dude sees him, has his fucking pistol in his hand, and my brother's freaking the fuck out, man, but he's still hiding behind the dumpster, and the guy, he just yells out, he's like, bro, don't even bother, bro. And the guy just fucking willies off into the fucking distance, takes the fuck off. So, 911 gets there, right? Fucking police. Only to find my brother a screaming and blubbering mess. Like, he's one of the most mentally stable people I know, right? And he's one of the mentally strongest people I know. But when he breaks, he breaks down. And my brother has this thing where he can't calmly explain to you why something fucked up just happened to him. He cannot. He, he just can't. He's all over the fucking place. And you know how police are with erratic black dudes, right? Like moving their hands and shit. So police get there and they're like, yeah, man, what's going on? We'll call the police. My brother's, yeah, there's a guy. He has a gun. He has a gun. He's trying to kill me. He's trying to kill me. He's trying to shoot me. I don't know what the fuck to do. I almost died. He's trying to kill me. And the cops, of course, are like, because it's a fucking sex of shit. I mean, you can't see his legs are bloody. Like, what the fuck? He's fucked up. Like, what the fuck? They're like, sir, calm down. Okay, we need to know what's going on. My brother again, what the fuck? I don't know what I'm thinking. What are you talking about? I don't know what he's holding me up here. I don't know what the fuck to do. And the cops are like, sir, if you calm down, or we're going to have to bring you in. We will contain you, sir. Calm down, okay? And my brother's finally like, no, 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 no. No, he was pistol whipping the girl, and, and, and he was trying to shoot me, and, and I, I had to run out, and I called you guys. And the police are looking at him like he's lying. Like, this makes no sense. I'm like, what the fuck? You're like, you're, you know what I mean? You're obviously full of shit. And my brother's like, oh, so, so you guys don't believe me? You guys don't fucking believe me? Come on, come on. The, the apartment's over here. This is where the girl is. Come on, come on. So cops follow him, right? Goes upstairs, knocks on the, knocks on the fucking door, bruh. And this is the final nail in the coffin that, you know, leaves this lady to be fucking crazy. There's a screw loose with this woman. <laughs> like, there's a lot of things I want to call her, but you know, I've never been in her situation, so I can't even uh, attempt to understand like what type of a stock a home syndrome this chick has or what the fuck is wrong with her as to where is she's, you know what I mean? I don't know, man. So, my brother's knocking on the door, right? On this woman's door. And the whole time he's knocking, he's telling him, look, you're going to see, you're going to see, she's, her, she was pistol whipped and fucked him, you're going to see, you're going to see. Bruh, this chick opens up the door. And I don't know if she was some sort of like movie special effects makeup artist or something, but this chick, she washed up. And put makeup all over her fucking face. And she's completely fucking calm. Now, again, this is one of the uh, the details that you're going to have to get from him. Because, again, I wasn't there. Because now that I'm 
listen to this, I'm like, nigga, how the fuck? Like, wasn't her face lumped up or something? You know, there wasn't no lumps or nothing. But one thing I do know is she covered her fit, completely plastered her face in fucking makeup, covered up all the fucking bruising, all of the cuts, completely covered it all up with makeup, and she's calm. Calm as fuck. And my brother is not calm. He's freaking the fuck out. No, 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 look, look, look at her face. And the girl's just like, what are you talking about? Hello, officers. And my brother just looks at her and he looks back at the fucking cops. And he's like, no, 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 and the girl's like, what are you talking about? Tell them what? Tell them what, KT? Like, tell them what? And my brother's just like, no, 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 no. Tell them what happened. Tell them what happened. What are you doing? Tell them what happened. Like, my brother has this thing where it tends to really, really, really fuck with him and people who don't believe him, like it really infuriates him. Which, in this situation, I'd have been freaking the fuck out too. So tell me why the cops are looking at this and they stop my brother, like, whoa, 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 sir, sir. Have you had anything to drink? Have you... taken any substances? And my brother... <laughs> he... He immediately understood what was going on because the girl is like yeah yeah KT like is is, is everything okay like I tend to call my brother Chris a lot right like he's you know what I mean he changed his name to KT like so you know legally and shit so that's why I call him K that's that's why I keep flip-flopping every once in a while like, but his name is KT right it's, it's hard because you know I'm used to the other name but the girl is like yeah KT is is everything okay like what are you, what's wrong with you? So my brother sees what's going on. He's just like, you know what? Okay, okay, no officers. I haven't had anything to drink. I don't drink, I don't do drugs. You know what? It's fine, I'm leaving, right? And shit, I mean, I'm surprised they let him leave, to tell you the truth. He's like, yo, can you guys give me a ride to the bus stop? Because they were in the boondocks, and they said no. They couldn't give him a ride. So my brother had to walk probably like fucking two and a half hours to the bus stop. And he tells me uh, the worst part about that was that the entire time, anytime he heard a car or any type of fucking engine, he thought that that guy had come back to finish him off, was coming back to fucking kill him. So I can only imagine what type of fucking fear, you know, that is. So he gets to the bus stop, fucking gets on the bus, Everyone's looking at him like he's fucking insane because his legs are bloody. He's crying and he's covered in fucking dirt. It took him like fucking five hours to get home. And when he got home, fucking first thing he did was kick down my door and start punching the walls, man. And after he told me all that, I completely understood, you know. And, and after that, bro, like my brother, he went through uh, a long time of fucking you know, therapy, like to fix his legs after that. Like his legs were fucked up. They were fucked up, right? Like, I don't know how he was able to fucking walk home, you know? Um, but yeah, man, you know, um, pretty sure Rashad's gonna see this. So, you know, he probably doesn't know this story. So, you know, hey man, thanks for almost killing my brother, you know, and trying to kill me, you know, I mean, that's, you know, 10, 12 years of friendship, I suppose. That's, that's kind of what your type of person has to do when someone's basically your goddamn brother. But yeah, man, again, you know, if you guys want all, all the juicy details, because I'm pretty sure I left out a bunch of stuff, you know, because I mean, again, I was not there, you know. Um, I can only tell you what he very passionately and angrily told me uh, for an hour and a half when he kicked out my door. Um, but yeah, man, links in the description down below to my brother's channel. Um, if he has that video up, which I'm going to try to have him have that video up by the time this video goes up, then that link will be in the description down below. It'll be named my brother's side of the story. So, so yeah, man, you know, that shit happened. Uh, needless to say, he stopped talking to that girl. And, um, uh, yeah, there's, 
other stuff that happened, and uh, there's another, at least two other things that happened after he robbed my house that were pretty fucked up. Uh, I'll be telling those stories like later on and shit, based on how much love this guy, how much y'all want to hear the next one and shit. You know what I mean? Make sure to like this shit up, based on how much y'all, you know, how much love y'all show this video, how much y'all want to really see that shit. Like I'll, I'll post that shit up. That shit's fucking wild, man. And again, after that happened to my brother. You know what I mean? Like, you guys can probably kind of understand why I felt so shitty. You know? Because, it was, again, it was Rashad. It was Rashad Banks' fault. It was his fault. You know what I mean? If you would have never broken into my house, if you just went and got a fucking job like every fucking body else. Fucking lazy sack of shit. None of this stuff would have happened. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, man, I'll tell you guys a lot of the other things that happened between me and this, you know what I mean, this, this guy. You know, but uh, but yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the story. I know it's probably some of the most interesting and fucked up shit you've ever heard in your goddamn life. I don't have to uh, give a police disclaimer about this one because, you know, it happened to my brother. So, you know, it's not really something that I have to worry about going to jail for. But yeah, man, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if y'all did in the comment section down below. I'll be reading the fuck out of the bitches and replying to people. And, and, and watch who you fuck with, yo. You know, like. You gotta, you gotta talk to a girl and get to know her, man. Make sure she's not on none of that crazy, I love killers and shit type bullshit. But yeah, man.